Okay, this is the second part of the physics simulation tutorial, and actually, I was basically done at the end of the last one. The only thing I needed to do was turn the soft body off, with that, which I just did right there, because it had collision already selected. The reason I had set that as a soft body is because typically, at times when I'm working within Blender Render, I use a cloth object, and then I use... I use a soft body and I kind of simulate a rigid body using a soft body. But in this case, I don't need to do it because I already have my keyframes in place and it's already moving. So by turning it off and if I run the animation now, then this should actually collide with the... Oh, it will when I go back to the beginning. Okay, let's go. So now it's not breaking free of the chain, but it should actually run into the mesh and it does. All right, so that's how you can kind of combine the effects from the game engine with the effects within blender render and you don't have to do it this way but maybe you've built you know a big mesh of some sort within blender render and it's a bunch of cloth already and so you might as well take advantage of it and if you've seen some of my animations that I've posted I have an animation where I do soft body effects exclusively within uh, the blender game engine and it's pretty fa powerful and it's fast with transparency in the whole nine yards so it's really nice but you know the advantage here is you can bring it in and then now that we've created this animation it runs between say you know well zero and 250 frames let's see how long that would actually take for a cycles render because that's really the advantage here is well heck let's just uh i wonder if we could do that i wonder if we could turn this into a light at the same time we're going to try it we just make this our light because we need some kind of light and we just go into render mode real quick and see what happens well it is our light okay it's lighting it up so now our cloth is our light okay well that's it for this lesson and i'll see you in the next lesson